How could Malaysia Air Flight 370's transponder fail and the aircraft veer so wildly off course? The cockpit voice and flight data recorders will tell us. It surprisingly looks kind of primitive. What does it do? It essentially has an armored shell, and even within that, there's a, a what you might call an armored bathtub that uh, houses the memory chips that record all the flight data. The crucial last 30 minutes of conversation between the pilots is captured on one device. The aircraft's altitude, speed, direction, and hundreds of other parameters measured on the other. On the front of the box, we see a radio beacon that allows the box to be located uh, after a crash. This is housing the solid state memory chips that are recording all the flight data. So uh, that's the uh, critical part of the unit that needs to be salvaged after an accident. This so called black box is an older but similar version of the Malaysian plane's recorders. The newer models are about half the size and collect more than a thousand pieces of data. Which makes them so unique is their ability to survive just about anything. The box is designed for impacts of over 3,400 G's. Uh, this is about 7,000 times what would be a fatal car accident for a human. So incredible impact. In terms of temperature, it's designed to withstand temperatures over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit for short duration. So this would cover scenarios where it's sitting in the middle of burning jet fuel for, for an hour or so. What is more likely critical for the Malaysian airline is the recorder's ability to withstand the tremendous pressure from the depths of the sea. The technology has come a long way. Now, aircraft of this era, like this Boeing from 1954, didn't have flight data recorders. It was shortly after the start of the jet age that they became common. Aircraft like the Concorde, which had a major accident, benefit from the advanced technology. But the problem is getting to the recorders fast enough to make them useful. The box emits a signal or beacon in fresh or salt water from as deep as 20,000 feet below. But the battery often runs out in just 30 days. For the Air France flight that went down in the Atlantic in 2009, it took searchers two years to find the data recorders because they were far from the wreckage. So the technology is improving now, Wolf. There are efforts underway to increase the battery life of these recorders' beacons from 30 days to 90 days to give those searchers more time to find them. The industry is also adding cameras that go outside of the plane so that when the recorders are found, they've got a visual or a video of what was taking place outside of the aircraft at the time of distress.